Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, most users on Windows have experienced the dreaded blue screen of death, which uh, is one of those so-called infamous, for want of a better word, screens that pops up at not the best of times in most cases, and is quite demoralizing, especially if you are in a workflow and you don't know what caused the problem. Now, in regards to the dreaded blue screen of death, apparently, one in every 200 devices is basically victim to the dreaded blue screen of death per day. And this is according to research from NextThink. And according to their research, when the CrowdStrike outage happened a couple of weeks ago, this pushed the number um, of blue screens of death as high as 1 in 10 um, per day. So that went from 1 in every 200 to 1 in 10 per day with the CrowdStrike outage. And I'll leave a video um, link down below and in the end screen regarding CrowdStrike in case you just want a little bit more information. Now, according to uh, this research, apparently um, in the tech sector, 15.2% of devices suffer a blue screen of death each month. And it's a little bit lower in financial services where it's only 8%. And the report also says that um, by deploying proactive IT systems, you can also reduce blue screen of death incidents to around 1 in 400 devices per day, purely by taking pre preventative measures. Now, obviously, um, in most cases, um, most blue screens of death um, can be fixed by restarting the device. But um, more in the, the minority than the majority, uh, blue screens of death can be costly. Um, that's why I said um, they can be avoided through pre preventative measures. And the reason I say they could be costly is because, as you may well know, some of the main causes of blue screens of death are hardware that's not functioning properly, so problematic hardware, which is costly, um, poorly managed Windows updates, um, graphics cards that aren't configured properly, network audio drivers, poor device configuration, which is mainly related to your RAM, your CPU, like overclocking as an example, and your hard drives or SSDs, and an outdated BIOS or BIOS issue. So those are come, so some of the common causes of the dreaded blue screen of death. But I thought um, this report was interesting that one in every 200 devices on a general basis falls victim to blue screens of death per day according to research from NextThink. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.